Hello, my name is Sarah and I'm here at the University of Toronto. Today I'm meeting with Urgyen Gyalpo and we're learning how to make torma. Gyalpo, what are torma? Uh, so torma is uh, actually so uh, the uh, ritual cake that so we're offering. So whenever we're doing uh, some ritual uh, specialties, so that time we're just offering objects. Yeah, so it's an offering object that yes. you create, you use for a time, yes. and then they come out of use as well. Yeah. 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 Mm. Great. And what are, t what are Torma traditionally made from? So in Tibetan tradition, <coughs> so we make out of the barley flour. So <coughs> and in here, it's a little bit difficult to find the barley flour, so we can make out of the oat. Or oh, sometimes we can make out of the flowers, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes they make out of clay, something like that. Yeah. Great. So today we're going to try both. Yes. We're going to all use the tsampa, which is mm -hmm. the ground barley flour. Yes. That looks uh, just like regular flour. Mm -hmm. And we're also then going to use oats. And we'll see the difference between them. You students at home, you're invited. It's probably easier to find oatmeal, so you'll probably be using oatmeal. But we are going to show you tsampa as well. Okay. So let's start. Let's okay. begin with the tsampa. What do we do? Okay, first we're going to... First we have to see, you know, how many torma we're going to make. So we can just a little bit measuring. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to... You and me just... Yeah, today we only need two. Two. <laughs> we have the cold sure. water. Cold water. Can I add? Yes. Say when. Okay. Yeah, Four. okay. Okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay, first I, I'm gonna tell you something. <coughs> so important. So, so today is just we're going to just show how to do it. As usually, so whenever you're doing a torma, so this is a little bit for the ritual of the object. Mm -hmm. When you preparing, uh, making the before <coughs> this torma, you have to clean up your all the hands. Mm -hmm. You have to very clean. Everything's, you know, all the you know plates and everything has to be clean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So we're starting with our very clean hands and then mm. mixing. Mm. Give me water. Okay. So is that the right consistency, like a pretty firm dough? Yeah. So don't make too, uh, what do you call it? Watery or? Too, too watery mm -hmm. and don't make too, it's a little bit, you know. So if you have oil or butter, sometimes you know you can just use a little bit with the oil or butter mm -hmm. with, with your hand. Mm -hmm. So then after when you mix it, it's, it won't stick in your hand. Okay. At least it's not a warm day. Yeah. Okay. So you can do that. Ah, uh, so this allows the sampa to not stick yeah, as much. Yeah, not just stick it in your hand. So then you can see how many torma you are going to plan. Okay. So this is for you. Thank you. It's a very firm but yeah. soft dough. Mm. Okay. It makes it very little bit hard. Okay. Push a little bit. Make a little bit round. This one, and that one, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a very soft, mm. but pliable, but also it's firm. Like it's, it holds whatever shape yeah. um, you give it. Kind of. So dough. whenever you any kind of design, you're going to create the the torma. So actually, torma has a many different kind of shape. Mm. So today we're going to make you know the chalce. This, so this is called sometimes it's, uh, divided into called chalce. 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 And <coughs> and. Uh, what does chalce mean? So chalce means shell means the mouth, mm. and say means eat. Mm. So that's so food. This is food. Like yeah. yeah, food. This is food. Yeah, food. Yes. And and sometimes you know this is a uh, white, mm. so that means sometimes they call it peaceful, mm. Mm. peaceful torma. Okay. Mm. So whenever you're doing making a torma, so any kind of shape, so this is really important. We have to be very something like this. Okay, make it nice. Mm -hmm. Then, you mean a you know, nice regular nice round regular shape? Nice regular round shape, yes. Mm. So if you have a good experience, and you can make with your hand, like mm. this, mm. okay? I see, you start to move back and forth. Yeah, so don't go like this. Uh -huh. So, you know, it's, like this. I see, use the shape of your hands. Yeah. Like that. Or, or you can use with this plate. Mm. Yeah. Push. So you're trying to end up with one wider side and one, one narrower yes. side? Yes, see? Slowly, slowly push. regular like shape all around yes so how old were you when you first made torma uh like, do children get involved or yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So i think it's eight or eight or seven something mm -hmm. like that yeah mm -hmm. how am i doing uh need more See? Okay, you can push. I see. This is two hand. Yeah. Because sometimes it's gonna happen, you know. Mm. So there must you, you, you have to mix mm. very nicely and also leave the weather. Mm. Okay. Something like that. Mm. Okay. Kind of the shape. Shape is like that. Okay. A bottle. Yeah. Then, when it's ready, ready for the shape, then, you know, you're going to make the, the top part. Mm. Slowly. Only these two fingers can flatten the little flatten bit. Flatten a little bit. Something like that. Okay, that's great. <clears throat> so now you're going to make, you know, the bottom part. Mm. So bottom part, the same thing. Push a bit. Push. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm. So we wanted to taper in a little bit mm -hmm. again. Then do like that. Give it a flatter bottom. Yeah. Uh -huh. See. I'm doing this or way. or you can do it this way. This way also good. Mm. Yeah. Slowly, it's just gradually from. A little bit more fluted. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So this is how we make a torma. <clears throat> so this is a very simple one. So whenever we're doing, <coughs> making a, a learning a torma, so this is the first step you have to you know. Mm -hmm. Learn. So do you ever get to this point and then start over again or? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And when you're making torma, how many do you usually make? Many, many? Is the goal to make more than one? Uh, no, it's a, it's a, it's a different because it, it's a depend on you. So mm -hmm. you're going to do only your offering for the seven line, uh, the seven, <coughs> seven balls, butter mm -hmm. balls, and then with the flowers and the incense and the butter lamb. With the with the torma, just you need the only one piece of torma. Mm. It's, it's, it's the same like this. Mm. Just this is called the <coughs> the shalze. This is mean uh, so welcoming. Mm. Okay. So if you wanna do some ritual things, so what kind of ritual you wanna do it? You know, so it's according to the, your ritual. So how many torma is there? Mm. So this is it depends on the what you wanna do it. Depends what's needed. De how what, many? What, what do you need? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yes. And the <clears throat> and the many important thought it is see thing is like that. So torma actually so many different kind of shape torma. If you look around, there are so many different kind of torma. So if you are very new, so if you go see the torma, just you can get confused. Mm -hmm. So which one is which one? You know. So it doesn't matter which one is. You know, it really, really doesn't matter because important is they have a lineage. Okay. So <clears throat> in Tibetan they call and Tonga uh, Yubi Chakshe. So that means is you know mm. in uh, just a little bit translated in here. Uh, so this is called the traditional of the lineage and the artist. Okay. So where you uh, learn from. So as uh, so which lineage it came from. Which lineage have you learned? You this learned to, yeah. Style so in Tibetan we have a, a so four different uh, four major, four uh, major lineages. lineages. Mm. Okay. So my one is is the uh, so Mindoling lineage. It's the Nyingma lineage. Mm. Okay. So that was you had to know. Mm. So otherwise, so your lineage you, you, from Nyingma Mindoling, you mm. had a specific way of learning to yes. Torma that was yes. the Mindoling Mindoling lineage. Yes, lineage. yes, yes. Mm. Otherwise, you know, sometimes you get confused. Mm. So what kind of Torma? So basically, all Torma are same. Mm. It's not not really doesn't matter. If you go very deeply, then you can get you know, mm. you see like that. Mm. So, so when you were first making Torma, who taught you? Uh, so I have a one teacher uh, when I was in, in in monastery. So first, I I make a Torma <coughs> with my uh, grandfather mm. so my mother's is father you know mm -hmm. so he taught me how to make a torma mm -hmm. when i was very kid in, mm -hmm. very young mm -hmm. so that time i learned with him mm -hmm. so after i came to the monastery then slowly slowly you know it's a little bit like yeah great, yes, so you yeah. have memories of making this with your grandfather yes 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 and was i mean my when you're very young do they say no no start over yeah <laughs> Oh, you, until you oh, get the shape yes. right, because it must be difficult to get the shape. Yeah, so because uh, this is a little bit difficult. Yeah, so so this is you know it looks very simple. Whenever you're making the torma, this is the hardest one. Mm. So after you know the, some torma you have they made some of them you know triangle some of the it's a different shape. Mm. It's a little bit easy than this one. Mm. So same things when we're drawing. Why do you think? Why do you think this one is harder? Just uh, so this is. Everybody asking me those, those kind of questions, yeah. you know, whenever you're drawing it, for example, okay? Whenever you're drawing it, you're drawing the Buddha face. It looks Buddha, it's very peaceful. It's very nice, you know? Whenever you're drawing, it's very difficult. Mm. If you're drawing something, you know, something rough for deities, it's much easier than that one. I see. Because this one is just very peaceful, it's very shaped nicely, so right. you can see truly. Right. Whatever is, is something mystic. So you have to see those perfect lines perfect in line. balance, yeah. in proportion, yeah. and your eye will catch any little difference. Yes, yes, yes. Whereas a wrathful deity, the flames can be a little bit messy. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. So something uh. like that, yeah. Mm. yeah. Same with Torma. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what do we do next when we have a okay, shape like so, this? <clears throat> so this is basically how we do Torma. So now everything's ready. Then, <clears throat> so then you have to put a little bit like butter on it. So mm. butter means, so... It's something like a, you have to paint it. As a paint means we're not going to paint, we're going to put the butter. Mm. So this is the, so traditionally. So mm. any kind of butter. So like these sections? 
that part so this is butter a, uh, this one also butter mm. we have to put it here it's also butter as well mm, i see so the when you thing. put the butter then it's not going to be you know crack i see ah so it holds the kind of yeah shape yeah. i mean mine is already cracking a little yeah. bit but so because of the you know little bit of weather or something like that sunny yeah yeah, yeah, yeah okay i see yeah i see okay so shall we add some butter on top yeah don't need mm. So can we, can we can put a little bit of butter, uh, put a little bit of a small plate mm -hmm. and you can put that on some mm -hmm. microwave or something like that. Yeah. So now we've taken some melted butter, just a small amount of melted butter and we have a food brush but you could also use a paint brush and we're going to put some on Yes. Torma. Yeah. Do you do it on the bottom as well? Ah, uh, no. 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 But the top, yes? Only top, yes. So bottom because we have to stick, no. Mm. Sit down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that means... So torma is basically it's ready. Mm. So now it's ready for the can. Mm. Can means the butter. Mm. So how to make you know, something nice. Mm. Okay. So... Okay, can we try this one first? Then we can, when you drink the butter, we can together. The ornaments together? Together, yeah. Yeah, great. Okay. If the birds come, they can. the birds <laughs> right in. Yeah, well, they're used to coming for this. Yeah. So. I think it's okay, yeah. Okay. Can I get this? Big one or small? Uh, maybe small is okay. Okay. Maybe give me a big one. Sure. Easy little bit, no? Okay, so now we're going to try the same thing. So but now we're going to try this one. Quick oats. Quick oats. It's the same thing, you know, when we, how much you want to make it. Okay. So this is hard work, right? Mm -hmm. So all we need, you know, so this one will be like rough. So we need the, you must need the hot water. Mm. So because right now I'm just using my hand. If you're not comfortable with the hot water, so because don't, don't yeah. use don't it. Put your hand right so in the use, use your uh, a spoon as well. Yeah. Just a little cook, you know. So we're not making it the same consistency as when we eat it. It'll be much firmer. Yes. Because this one is a little bit take time. Mm You have to mix very gently. It looks a little bit like wet, mm. but you have to wet a little bit. It's mm. gonna be. It'll dry a bit. It will dry a little bit. Mm. The oatmeal is much pastier than the tampa was. Yeah. Mm. But yes, you have to work with what's available, I guess. Yeah. So before we're in in, in Canada, we're using 
lots of you know so most of the center we're using this odd mill mm -hmm. so that time we don't have uh, the samba available in here mm -hmm. so nowadays in a lot of Tibetan are living here and that way we have a samba mm -hmm. are some people still using oat meal or yeah 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 because samba is available but it's pretty expensive pretty expensive here in toronto. yeah yeah toronto mm -hmm. so samba we can get only in tibetan area mm -hmm. do families make their own samba? uh mostly yes yeah if you want samba then you know in, a, in jameson area the tibetan area mm -hmm. they have a samba Jameson, the Parkdale area. The Parkdale area, yeah, Trump, yes. Mm. <coughs> so I don't know if you can see students, but it's drying out as Gyapo mixes it. So it looked much pastier a minute ago, and now it's looking a lot drier. Maybe the trick is you keep mixing for a while. Mm. Don't give up. Keep mixing. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it takes arm strength though. <laughs> mm. I kind of want to try a little bit. Yes. And can I have a little bit like uh, the oil? Yes. Oil for your hands? Yep. Oh, so you mix it in? Yeah. I'm going to try to make some too. See yeah, how you my can students try. can do it. So not so much water, right? Just not so much bit. water. Yeah, slowly. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't go yeah. right away. It's slowly, slowly. Now that you've mixed yours for a while, yeah. it looks like a lot of the oatmeal has kind of broken down, mm. right? It's yeah. more in, into yeah, because you have to mix less very tasty. Mm -hmm. See now, almost like it's sampa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's becoming much yeah much firmer than it was at first. Yeah. And mine, where I've just started, is still okay. looking very. Yeah. Is it too wet? Uh, not so much. No, just keep going. Just keep going a little uh -huh. bit. Okay, I'll keep going. Oh, bit. it's really sticky. <laughs> yeah. Really goopy. Like glue. For anyone with sensory issues, this this takes a bit of getting used to. It's very gloopy. <laughs> gloopy. Okay, now you just you can just put it down mm -hmm. a little bit. It'll dry a little bit. Should I add some oil yet, or not uh, yet? just leave no. it wet? Leave, let it wet, leave let it dry out. I remember you sort of spread yours out a bit, right? Yeah. So let it dry. Mm -hmm. Dry a little bit. Then you can use the uh, then you clean up your can. Mm -hmm. If sometimes you know it's easy, you can use. You can scrape. Like okay. Scrape this one. Sure. But be careful. Not sharp knife. Not sharp knife. No. Butter knife. Butter knife. Yeah. If it's spoon, it's okay too. Yeah. Spoon. Yeah. Yeah. Anything's. Don't cut spoon the finger. Would work right. I'm glad I took off my rings. There may be a few flakes of nail polish in mine. 
You see? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, get but it dry. now you can use the oil. Okay, so now it's a consistency that's dried out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And then put this into. Yeah. Okay, now you mix. Mm -hmm. I'm mixing mix this little slowly. bit of oil in. Yeah. So torma are made for some ritual yes. purpose. How mm. long are they sitting there on the altar or in uh, So that one also is depend on the <coughs> what kind of practice you want to do. You know, sometimes mm. they people they do the retreat. So three year retreat, three year retreat. Three year retreat. So retreats? they put like uh, three years on right. an altar. Uh -huh. So it's depend on the you know what kind of you know practice you want to do, what kind of ritual you want to do, mm. and what purpose for the torma. Mm. You know, mm. so what. So it's depend on you. And then at the end of that cycle, if it's three years or three months or mm. three days, depending, mm. what happens to the torma? Uh, so, <clears throat> so most of the torma they're just throwing out. Mm. Throw out. Sometimes you know, just throwing out means it's not putting to the garbage. Mm. So we're going to put in the in the in the forest or something somewhere. You know, mm. something like nice place. Leave in a nice place, a nice like place. wilderness. Yeah. Or yeah. Mm. Yeah. Is it considered? bad if an animal eats them or uh, or it's not? no no this animal can eat yeah 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 it's a very dried out food thing by the end yeah. yes yeah so and in some area i heard because some area in in, in himalayan they make the torma out of the uh, uh the the rice rice it's, it's like you know when like you a cook, rice flour rice, rice meal? no 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 i mean like when you cook the rice, cooked rice, cook okay. rice mm. then you make the torma. Mm. So after the practice, and the people can eat it. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they do like that. Mm -hmm. Because they have a, a few different kinds of torma. Because some torma you cannot eat it, you just throw it out. Mm. Okay, so those are just remove the, all your obstacle things. You have to just throw mm. it out. So tormas that are built for removing obstacles, yes. you wouldn't consider eating after Yeah, yeah. So they have many different kinds of objects uh -huh. in the torma. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, because right now we're making this is okay. Just yeah. You can just eat Food offering. Food offering, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is basically it's a food, it's a cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's my consistency coming? It's good, see? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Are you clean your pan? Leave it clean your hand from that one. Then you put a little bit. Yeah. A little bit of oil on the hand. Little bit of oil on your hand. Okay. That is good. Okay, yeah, that, that's good. That works too. Yes. So you can do this one. You can just clean it. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. The birds and squirrels will be happy after yeah. this. Okay. Okay. So a little oil on the hands. A little oil on the hand, yes. Too much or is that okay? A little bit. Okay. Okay. So if you are difficult, little bit difficult with your uh, hand, you can use here. Mm. This is also a little bit easy. So the dough is ready. So then, uh, whenever you make the the dough, it's ready here. Now, what size you gonna make, mm -hmm. and how many torma you gonna make? Okay. Mm -hmm. So then it's according to you. It's up mm -hmm. to you. You can just divide it. Mm -hmm. So right now you can just 
we're gonna make the one turma, right? Mm -hmm. We can make one turma. Mm -hmm. So first, it's the same thing as I before. What I mentioned. Okay. Here, shall we show the students a close-up of the dough? Yes. It looks quite, it's actually mixed really nicely now. Yeah. Uh, it's quite soft. Yeah. yeah. Does yours feel the same? Yeah. Mm. Firm, soft, at the same time pliable. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. So don't do this way. If you mm. do this with that way, you mm. see? Mm -hmm. If you do that way, you're going to have finger so you, you, edges. Your, your finger edges are there. Ah, so we're going to use so the Every palm. day you put this way, yeah. I see. And a little bit more pressure. A little bit more pressure the for wrist. the wrist, yeah. Mm. Is mine getting too long? Uh, no. no. Yeah, something like that. You know, you have to be very slowly, you know. Mine's too skinny. Yeah. Whenever it's really like that, it's the same thing what we did before. Just press only this thumb and I see thumb and forefinger. Forefinger, you can use it, this one. So this one don't press only these two. Mm. Okay. Yes. Exactly at the center. like that that's great that's good yeah okay so <clears throat> so now because top part is good now we can do the bottom one mm. okay don't go too much in here mm. go a little bit you know in to give it a little bit of a kind of bottle bottle yeah yeah shaped. that mine is looking so nice yeah looking nice yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah there's almost looks like a perfect old-fashioned coca-cola bottle shape <laughs> yeah Okay. Okay. So now, so now we are going to a little bit oh. different than what we did before. Mm -hmm. So now this one, just a little bit press. It's a little big, you know. Make the bottom a little bit wider. Yeah, wider. Mm -hmm. And don't push it. Just leave it like this. Okay. Okay. Just a little down. Up. See? What am I doing wrong here? Uh, so. so basically like that. Okay, can That's I show you? So nice, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so 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 right now you can see your this side is a little too big. Yes. Okay. 
So what are you going to do? You can do a little bit of push, you know. Push it makes a little bit longer like that. It's a little bit in good shape now, you know. So now it's like that. Kind of want it to be a nice, regular, gentle shape. Yes. And then yeah. a little bit in, a little, little bit, bit out, a little bit in. Yeah. yeah. And then we're having so stronger slowly base. because the top part is a little bit small. Mm. Then you go a little bit, you know, slowly, slowly getting bigger. Mm. So when it comes here, then go a little bit in. You know, then now you make a, you can make a little bit like a bottom one bottom part so before we did just like a black no mm -hmm. so now we're going to make a little bit design okay push don't push too much yeah. okay so then after everything this the the top part is done you can make a bottom part okay whatever you can make it even so right now this everything's bumpy, this is down, you know. Slowly. Just two fingers you can use it. You're almost ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Beautiful. So this is how we do the thermal. <clears throat> okay. So now, so when it's ready, then you're gonna apply for the butter again. Mm. You can do the butter again. So we're gonna paint butter over top again. Over top again. Seal it. Yes. And keep yes. it from drying out too much. Yes. Yes. And cracking. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the butter is going to. Should I? Oh, I might have to melt it again. Yes. smells so delicious because they're food. They're food, yes. Is it difficult to keep the little mice away from it inside of a temple? Mm, yeah, yeah, exactly, yes. Yeah. Does it matter if the little mice eat it? I mean, do they... What, <laughs> what do we do to keep the mice away? Because nowadays, you know... <clears throat> Because uh, most of the temple in Nepal, in India, <coughs> uh, they're not making thorma out of the tampa. They're making with the uh, with the white flour. White flour. White flour, and uh, mixing with the uh, with the wax. Wax, the, I see. The candle wax. Candle wax. So yeah. they melt candle wax, so the, added to white added flour. Added with the flowers. Uh -huh. So then you know that one is really good. So whenever you you doing you making is a little bit difficult, mm -hmm. but it's when it's ready. So then it's take you know it's very long lasting you know. Right, it lasts yeah. a very long it's time. It lasts and very holds long. its shape, it's I'm holds sure. Its shape. Yeah, like a yeah. candle. Yeah, candle. And sometimes the mice come, but it's really hard, you know. Too hard for it's, them to eat. Yeah. yeah. But otherwise, this kind of you know things you know, because right now in winter time it's good. When it's summer time, sometimes you know it's getting eaten. Eaten. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, so now we are just ready for the torma. So we're ready for the can, so butter. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to make a can. <clears throat> so can we need the uh, so butter? Mm -hmm. So actually they call the butter. So in here in Canada we have so many different kind of butter mm -hmm. <clears throat> because some butter you can use it because butter has to be a little bit like stone. Okay, mm -hmm. because some butter uh, is very, very, what do you call this? Uh, too soft, too pliable. Too soft, pliable, too or pliable. Or you can't mm -hmm. do it, you know. Mm -hmm. So this is not very easy to do it because, mm -hmm. right, because you know, it's going to be, so we're going to show you, we're going to show you, mm -hmm. shoot them. So it's, you, you're trying to find butter that's going to really hold like fine, fine, small yes. shapes, right? Yes, so that one we need uh, a cold water. Uh -huh. So we have to clean our hand. Uh -huh. Okay. Go wash, okay. You know? Then we need the cold water, then we can do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. 
So we should wash our hands first. Yes, please. Yes. Yeah, you can and wash your hand with yeah. the with the soap. Yeah. Okay. With soap. Yeah. With soap. Because we have lots of. Delightful. Yeah. Otherwise, it's gonna be a steak. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So then we need. Can I have this one? Yeah. And we need a uh, cold water. So you have to wash your hand. So with the soap. Okay. Then you need a uh, cold water because sometimes you know. Because because right now it's just cold water because we have winter. When you, you're in summer, that time, in sometime you know your apartment is very hot, you have to put the ice on it, okay? So then you can use the butter. Oh, you can, you can see how many torma you have at the bottom. So then, so right now the butter is a little bit like, it's very hot, you have to mix very nicely, mm. okay, good. And sometime when you're mixing the, the butter, and don't play too much, you know, up. Mm -hmm. Out of the butter, mm -hmm. you can use it with the water. Don't play too much because it's gonna melt in your easy, hands. Easy, it's gonna right? melt. Yes. Mm -hmm. so yes. You keep putting oh. it in the cold water. Okay. So because right now it's not everything's perfect. See, it's not touching anything. And sometimes you know just water. Yeah, uh, the butter is going to your hand that you have to wash again. Okay. With the with the cloth. And wash with this not hot water, it's cold water, okay? So now, see everything's fine. Now you can do whatever you do, see? Mm. Perfect. Okay. So you going to try it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this one is just leave it there. So you can do a little bit cut it. And just, just mix it, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not much, is a little bit, yes. I'm going to shave off like a thin slice like this. Yes. Yeah. More? Or is this good? I think it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yes, mix it very nicely. So we're making like a butter dough feel. Yes, yes. Oh wow, it also melts very quickly. Yeah, so, so you have to put it putting it back in the water. Water, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we're wanting it to be pliable but also not f not f um Yeah. Okay. Not okay. melted too much. Okay. Yeah. How oh, is it the, the butter is sticking in, in your hand? No. No. No? No. Okay. Okay, that means it's ready. Okay. Okay. Leave it here? Yeah. Alright, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So can we go outside? Yeah. Now? So, butter is always inside. Not, don't put it here. Uh, because sometimes you know... Always because, in the water. Yeah. Because right now is okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now can you tell a little bit? So I'm taking a little piece off of my piece, butter ball. Yeah, butter ball. So how big you want to make? It. Mm. Okay, now we're going to make a round. Mm. So my one is a little bit bigger. You want to smaller? Mm. Okay. So that one is a little bit small. So we're keeping the butter cold, like cold. keeping it in this cold water. Cold water, yeah. Mm. It's very good. It's cold water and cold water. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's the same thing what we did in Torma. So Torma is usually we make, you know. Mm. Except we have to work faster now because it melts yes. in our hands. Yeah, see? So now, you do, it's not very really easy to sit down. Okay, you see? Mm. Okay, slowly. Trying to make a circle. Circle, yes. 
Mm. So you can put the water. Just use this hand also. Yeah. So now you can work with the water into the water. Okay. And slowly, slowly. Yeah. Just push. Just push on the other. other. good yeah push it a bit make a round yeah to the water so <clears throat> this is just you have to see you know so how big you're going to make it. you know sometimes it's too big it's not good sometimes too small it's not good okay okay so my one is almost exactly the Exactly the right scale. Right side. Okay, uh -huh. yeah. I see. So you want it bigger than your yes. thermo body. Thermo body. Yes. Wider. Yeah. yeah. So I think my circle is still too small. Yeah. I think it's okay. Too small. Maybe a little bigger. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't push the the middle part. Try uh, to push the, the out. You know. How's this? Yeah. And then you stick it on. You stick on. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, just stick on the you know, end here, otherwise it's going to be all down. Okay, now you can put the, you can do the, the top part. The, the top one was a little bit smaller than the bottom one. I see. Okay. So I need a little bit smaller ball like this? Yes. Yeah. Chili fingers. Yeah. <laughs> So if you're doing this on a hot day, you need ice water. Ice water, yes. Otherwise, you know, the, the butter is going to stay in your, in your in hands. Yeah. yeah. And when you see the butter all colorful, has the, has the color been added to the butter first or is yes. it painted after? No. No, it's so added you, to the you butter can first. Add it with that. Uh -huh. So you yeah. color the butter before making the shapes. Yeah. So when you're adding the... Uh, Color with the butter at that time, you know, <coughs> you can use the uh, only the the powder color. Mm. You can use the the wet the wet color. Uh -huh. no. So you add the powdered like mineral pigment. Mineral powder pigment, yes. Pigment into yeah. into the butter. Wet butter. Wet or butter. Or butter. Movable butter. Yeah, movable. Yeah. And in Tibet, the butter doesn't come like this, right? Or traditionally, uh, like so this. Tibet. What was the butter? So like I don't know were... exactly in Tibet because I never been in Tibet, mm -hmm. but in Nepal, in India. <coughs> so now they what they do, they they are using with the uh, with the wax. Uh -huh. They're using the wax uh -huh. because, because what we have in the wax right now. Yeah. So we are using with the butter and with the wax. Mm -hmm. And again, coloring wax that, first, that, getting the colored wax. Yeah. So that's yeah. a little bit easy. Yeah. To do. Okay. How is that for shape? Is that that's uh, good. That's good, yeah. So then you can put a little bit small one, mm. put it into the small ball. Like small that. ball. Maybe we're not going to make so fancy. Just a little bit. Oh. The center. The butter is good at sticking to itself. Yes. So, so that was, you know, when you, when you apply with the, this butter, so that means the so butter will stick. These things stick very nicely. Otherwise, it's not going to be stick, no? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then you can put a little bit, little bit small on the, on the, on the back. Mm -hmm. So that means, you know, so front and back, it doesn't, you know, it means like it. It's, this is the front and that one is back. That means it's not, it's, it's, it's equally, it's the same. Mm. Okay, so those are the different different. Meaning, what's equally the same? Like, it's beautiful on the back and the front? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Like statues, even if they're not seen from the back, they should still be beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, something Perfect. like that. Yeah. Like so this, this is basically for the offering, right? Uh -huh. So uh -huh. as much as you can offer, okay? Uh-huh. <clears throat> 
Yeah, so now this torma is ready. Now this torma is ready? Torma is ready. So now you can offer whatever whatever you're gonna put. So mm -hmm. this is the ready. That's how we do torma. And if you do sometimes you, the, because you know it's according to the, you, you, your timing. Okay. And so right now in, 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 in this torma there are so many different colors, so you cannot make you can make right now with the with the, with the color. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's basically the same. Okay. Does it ever work to add like food coloring to butter? I think so. Yes. That might work. You can try. Yeah. But you know, uh, with the butter, so making the, those kind of this is a little bit difficult because mm -hmm. you know you have to you're working with the cold water, right? The cold water. Cold or water. Else. Yeah. Okay. For so example, yeah. sometimes you know you can make a flower. Okay. Yeah. The same as with the, the bottom one. Okay, we're gonna yeah. try. Yeah. Okay, like that. Okay. Uh, no, it's too big. Oh. Yeah, put the four of them. Maybe three. Then with the flowers, mm. got it right. You can make this first and second and third. Okay. Yeah. Then you can put the one just at the center. Put one in the center. Yeah. So my flower is much simpler than yours. Yeah. But so mine was even double. You are single. This is fine. Mm. It's really good. Yeah. So that means Torma is ready. Lovely. And also sometimes you can, <coughs> because if you are very difficult with the butter, and then you can use the... This is really good, you know? What do you call this? Yeah, this is a kind of Play-Doh. Yeah, Play-Doh, yeah. It's Play a kind of yeah. modeling Play-Doh. It's a modeling uh, yeah. This says soft, squishy modeling material. Yeah, this is really good. Reuse or air dry. Yeah. It turns into kind of foamy. Paper. Foamy, yeah. <laughs> So you can use that one as well. This is good. So that means Torma is ready. All right, Torma is ready. Yeah. And we would now offer it. You can now offer it, yeah. So you can put your Torma on the shrine, on the whatever you're gonna, you know, just offer. You can do the offer. Mm -hmm. That ready. And this is representing food. It represents food, yes. For the for, deity that you're inviting to come. Inviting to, to come, yes. Wonderful, and then torma can be also big or also small. It's small, yes. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. It's, it's up to you know, uh, up to the who's, uh, uh, how to say, um, it's up to your uh, capability, you know. So, you know. so how how much you're offering, you know. So how much you buying it. This is it's up to you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they make it big. If if you see something in the monastery uh, during the in New Year time. So they make like this, one feet, two feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very big ones. Very big one, yeah. yeah. And they make it colorful and everything. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. All right. Well, thank you so much, Gilpo, for making Torma with us You're today. Welcome. You're welcome. And thank you, students. I hope that you have had fun following along at home. And I look forward to seeing photos of your Torma. So thank you so much for the watching. And it's very nice to be here. A little bit good opportunity to share a little bit like making Torma. Thank you. Thank you.